Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Computer Man, and today was Apple's first keynote of 2016, and let's see what they released. So let's get started with the iPhone. So Apple did release a new iPhone called the iPhone SE, which is basically a 4-inch iPhone 5S with iPhone 6S internals and cameras. So the iPhone SE has that 4-inch display, that A9 chip, a 12-megapixel EyeSight camera on the rear. And it has that same design as the 5S with the edges are now curved and uh, thinned, uh, thinned out like the iPhone 6. And with the A9 chip, of course, now there's twice as much CPU performance on the 5S and three times the graphics of the 5S and it has the Hey Siri feature because the M9 motion coprocessor is built in and with the 12 mega megapixel camera you can record 4k live photos there is no 3d touch on this phone whatsoever and now you've got the retina flash on the front. And the FaceTime camera is actually the 1.2 megapixel camera. And here's some sample photos they took pictures of. Very nice. And with that, you get the Touch ID. We don't, Apple did not let us know if it's the second generation or the first generation. So stay tuned for videos on the iPhone 5SE to see further in details. And with that, now you have Apple Pay. So a new NFC chip was built in and the secure element. And with that, you do get 19 LTE bands and up to 150 megabytes over LTE. And Wi-Fi up to 433 megabytes per second over Wi-Fi. So it's a little bit faster than the 5S over LTE and Wi-Fi and AC upgrade and Bluetooth 4.2 upgrade and Wi-Fi calling and LTE calling and it comes with iOS 9.3 straight out of the box and new Siri features that are built into iOS 9 this phone can take advantage of that and their accessories for it the cases and stuff and let's take a look at the tech specs so here's the tech specs on the iPhone SE they come in silver gold and space gray and rose gold 16 or 64 gigabytes the price starts at 399 for 16 and 499 for 64 Here's how much the phone weighs and the height and the dimensions. It's a 4-inch retina display with 1336 by 640 pixels at 320 ppi. And the A9 chip. Standard 12-megapixel camera. Video recording at 4K just like the 6S. And front camera is that iPhone 5S 1.2 megapixel. Touch ID. Different carriers you can get that phone on and it's unlocked as well. Video calling over the Wi-Fi and cellular. And that's pretty much it with the 5SE. Besides battery being 10 times, 10% 10 better than the 5S. Otherwise, it's just... um. 5s with iPhone 6 hardware iPhone 6s hardware I mean and a new product in the iPad iPad line was released today so let's take a look at that it's the iPad Pro 9.7 inch they just call it iPad Pro but there's two sizes so let's take a look at the brand new 9.7 inches so 9.7 inches is this little guy right here and it comes with a 2048 by 1536 resolution 
and it has a 25% greater color gamut than the iPad Air 2 and it has a new true tone display so it has four sensors built into the ambient light sensors that match the environment of the room so it looks like a sheet of paper and it's much more realistic in different viewing environments as you can see on the right with the demo it has built-in four speakers just like the bigger iPad Pro it has the A9X chip just like on the iPad Pro the bigger iPad Pro and the same 10 hour battery like every iPad has and it's just telling you it's quicker than the iPad Air 2, better display than the iPad Air 2, and Apple has quote that the GPU is up to, surpasses basically a Xbox 360. And they got the new type keyboard for it, the smart keyboard, and that cost $149. And the Apple Pencil works with it too, so now you can use the Apple Pencil on a smaller display. And the camera has been upgraded to a 12 megapixel camera on the back and the 5 megapixel on the front. So the 9.7 inch iPad Pro beeps in camera. And it has the Retina HD flash on the front and the True Tone flash on the back. And it weighs 0 0.96 pounds, 6.1 millimeters thin. And it has Touch ID. We do not know if it's Touch ID first generation or second generation. Most likely it's going to be second generation. It has new wireless in it. So now it, now it can support up to 23 LTE bands and up to 300 megabytes per second via LTE Advanced. So basically, they're pulling a lot of the cameras and LTE technology, maybe even Touch ID second generation from the iPhone 6S for this new iPad. And iOS 9.3 comes on this device right out the box. And there's accessories, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So let's take a look at the tech specs. So it comes in silver, gold, and space gray, and rose gold, the first iPad to ever come in rose gold. Storage, big upgrades on storage today. Wi-Fi models, they come in 32, 128, and a new 256 gigabyte, and the 12.9 inch iPad Pro got upgraded to a 256 gig option, and 128 replaces a 64 gig option. In Wi-Fi plus cellular, they in the 9.7 inch, they come in 32, 128, and 256. The bigger iPad comes in 128 or 256. Here's the dimensions of both and the weight of both. And the 9.7 inch, here's all the specs on the 9.7 inch. And it has a 40% um, anti-reflective display than the iPad Air 2 so it's much better at being more anti-reflective and the cameras are pulled from the iPhone 6s four speakers and it's packing a lot of power now into it and Bluetooth 4.2 and iPad Pro's battery is a 27.5 hour rechargeable battery up to 10 hours and built-in apps that are included so let's take a look at the accessories they released for the iPad Pro in general okay so we're gonna go over to iPad accessories okay Let's look at the new cases they released for the new 9.7 inch. So the 9.7 inch has smart covers that are in every single new color from, uh, let's take a look, from stone to white to yellow to apricot, light pink, midnight blue, charcoal gray, 
mint, royal blue, lilac, lavender, and product red. The same colors have also went to every single iPhone and iPad case that Apple makes. As well as their silicone case gets the same colors as well. And the new smart keyboard is now $149 for the 9.7 inch model. And on the connector side of the iPad, they did release a new connector for the iPad, basically. Right here. It's the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter they released that today. And a new SD card adapter as well. So now you can plug in a full powered USB into it and um, a microphone and other professional grade tools that you would want to have into an iPad. It works with all the generations of the iPad that supports Lightning. So from the iPad with the Retina Display, Mini, Mini 2, Air, Air 2, Mini 3, Mini 4, 9.7 inch Pro, and 12.9 inch Pro. And Apple has also released a USB-C to lightning cable. And this would be good if you have the bigger 9 points. My bad. 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Because that iPad can take advantage of the USB 3.0 speeds for charging and data transfer. This, I might get one of these to review on the channel. Just to see how fast it does with charging and data transfer. So stay tuned for a video on this, and it's only $25 for the 1mm, and I believe the 2mm is $39, and it's compatible with iPhone 5 and up, and iPad mini with, with the retina display and up, and uh, all the latest generations of the iPods that support lightning. And now let's take a look at the Apple Watch. Now on the Apple Watch side of things, they didn't release no new Apple Watch, no second generation yet. They did do a price drop on the uh, Sport Editions. Now you can get a 38mm for $299. And they released some new ones with new bands, so a yellow band for both, an apricot band, a royal blue, and new bands, the new nylon band, so they released some new nylon. And coming soon, uh, rose gold with different nylon bands, so they got, they got tons of New Apple Watches are selling with new bands. And pretty much that's all they did with the Apple Watch line. Release some new bands and selling new Apple Watches. And drop the price of a 38mm to $299. So let's take a look at the bands they got. So on the Sport bands, they released a bunch of new colors. Yellow, apricot, uh, light pink, white. Midnight Blue, Lilac, and so on and so forth in different new colors, in different colors. But the newest bands of all is the Woven Nylon, which comes in this reddish-orange color, this mint color, like a purple-blue color, black, uh, turquoise like a grayish whitish and a pink so they got these new bands too and they're only $49 I will be getting a black nylon band to review for the channel and also try out so if you guys have any comments about that let me know down in the comment section down below the Melanese loop now is in space black I will also be getting one of these too to uh, review by the way. And the classic buckle has also received some color updates.
and the leather loop has received some color updates as well. Modern buckle has received color updates, and that's pretty much it with the Apple lineup. And that's all I have to cover for the new Apple event. Uh, just before I end the video, they did release iOS 9.3 today, Mac OS 10.11.4, Watch OS 2.2, .2, and I will be doing a video about all of those. And stay tuned for a 9.7 inch iPad Pro review, iPhone SE review a nylon woven nylon band review and the black space black melanese loop uh, like the video if you like it please subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace